got to do this quick. I think this light is going to go very soon. Oh, I don't know how to start. So what's up guys? Um, today I thought I'd do uh, a slightly different video to what I normally do. Normally obviously I'd do my vlogs, but I thought it would be better just to sit down and have a decent conversation. I thought it would be good to go through some little pieces of information that I wish someone had been there to tell me when I started university. Because quite frankly, I've spent way too much money since I've been here. And I want you guys, when you start, to like learn from my mistakes. You need to plan how to save money straight off because you're not gonna get your student loan till September, right? You've got the whole time before September, you're gonna be like, you're not gonna wanna spend money on things that you might not need because I bought so much stuff that I don't need now and I wish I hadn't bought it. So, Firstly, if you've seen my vlogs of my tour that I've done around my flat, you will notice something very prominent. Everything is orange. Now, I've not got a problem with, like, orange. I don't have this fascination with orange. It was like a tactic, right? Listen, you're gonna hear me out, right? So, if things are orange, you're gonna know it's yours because, quite frankly, orange is, like, not a very popular color. It did take me ages to find some of my stuff, but now that I've got it, I wouldn't have changed it for the world because I know it's mine. If something goes missing, I know it's mine. I'm talking your knives and forks, orange. Your knives that you cut things with, orange. Ooh. Your scissors that you use in the kitchen, orange. Your tea towels are gonna be orange. Well, not necessarily orange. You choose your own color. Like, even if you get to like, have conversations or you meet who you're going to be sharing with or you've already picked your mates are going to be sharing like a place with you you can like say well if your things are orange my things are going to be blue and your things are going to be green that way you know whose stuff is whose now i'll tell you what one thing my mum managed to find which i'm extremely proud of because it was the last thing i thought she would be able to find orange saucepan now i'm living on my own it's not a very big thing so obviously make sure it's a color that you like because you're gonna be stuck with it. But I know it's mine. Everybody else knows it's mine. And if I know that I haven't used it and it's sitting on that side dirty, I'll be like, you can wash that up because I haven't touched it. So yeah, color coordination. I'm just flinging the saucepan around. I'm gonna put that down <laughs> because if something goes missing, like I have a jug, if that jug goes missing, I've got to go buy another one. That's money that I've spent on buying another one. Now, fair enough, you can't get everything in colors. Things like saucepans normally have a hole in the top. Hang on, let me get one. You might not be able to get them in the specific colour that you want because they're saucepans and quite frankly, if you're only going to be heating water up or you're going to be cooking your super noodles in them, you're just going to want a basic one. So this one's just from Wilkinson's and I think it costs two or three quid. Now, all saucepans normally have a hole. You know what you do? You buy the colour, so mine's orange, cable ties. You put a cable tie on it, that's your colour. So, no excuses. You're going to need your best friends. Your best friends are cling film and tin foil. You will die without these. No, you won't die, but I'll tell you what, you will waste so much food without these. I use the cling film a lot, purely for number one. I don't eat a lot of bread. Bread only comes in big loaves, unless you want to buy the little half loaves, which are pointless because they're just as much as the big loaves. So why not buy a big loaf? What you can do, you separate the bread into two slices, wrap it up in cling film, into your freezer like that. Rock solid, if I get that out now, 15 minutes. Yeah, take it out, put it on a plate or put it on a picture kitchen roll, 15 minutes and that's done. Tin foil, if you make a meal that like pasta, don't just make it for that evening. If you make it, make loads and put a bit of tin foil over it because yeah saving and stuff. While we're on the like the big scale stuff, if we're gonna buy like big loads of bread, the next thing you need to do is, it might be expensive, it might cost a lot. This cost me about six quid at the time. I've been here since September, so September, October, November, December, January, February, March. That's six months. Six months I've been living away from home. Wow, that year's gone quick. I haven't actually really thought about it since then, but yeah. So six months, I haven't had to buy any washing detergent. I still have a fair amount left because I invested in a giant pot. This specific one had 50 washes in. I think I've probably got about 10 more left in it. And yeah, just get yourself a nice one of them, write your name on it, 
stick it in the cupboard and you're away. Oh, that's all sticky. Well, no, we've kind of gone off the subject of food. I've just remembered one more thing. While we're kind of on the subject of still being in the kitchen, actually everything I have tip-wise is really for the kitchen because that's the area of stuff that you're like mostly gonna waste money on. At the weekends, while you're at home, before you go to uni, if you have a Chinese takeaway or you have an Indian, one thing I'm telling you now to keep is these. The, tub the tubs that your Chinese food and everything come in. Right? If you make a dinner like a pasta, or if you make a curry yourself, or you make specific stuff, and you have stuff left over, and it goes off, or you don't fancy it, whack it in one of these, whack it in the freezer, and then all you've got to do is put it in the microwave. You'll live like kings in the first month that you have your student loan, and then you'll realise, ah, mm, probably should have saved some money. And, if you can help it, if your colour, thin colours, is either orange, yellow, or red, Wilkinson's for 90 pence will do a big packet of these colour coordinated. So once again you're going back to the idea of you knowing whose stuff's whose because I'm the only person that's going to have orange tubs. When it comes to food, like actual food, one thing I cannot say hard enough is always make sure you've got bread in your freezer and always make sure you have tins in your cupboard and the whole time you have bread in your freezer you have a meal think this tin cost me 50 pence or something stupid like that. If you have a tin of something, so we have sausages and spaghetti and beans and sausages, or you can just get beans or something, the whole time you have these in your cupboard and you have bread in your freezer, you will have a meal. It will be the cheapest meal you've ever had, but if you do get to that point where you don't have any money left, it's, it's a godsend because quite frankly, yeah. So I've got the whole loaf of bread in the freezer, I have eight tins consisting of something that can have on toast. As long as you have something you can have on toast, you're never going to go hungry and you can never moan that you've got nothing to eat. While we're talking about the whole shopping thing as well, I'm just going to constantly be going while we're talking about this, while we're talking about that. I'm lucky enough to live right next door to a Lidl's and a 24 hour Asda. Now, it's not the furthest I can go, so if I do need to have a massive shop, I can just jump in the car and just drive around and do my shopping and then put the stuff in the car. It's fine while I get here. It's the carrying process. So most people might live 10, 15 minute walk away from the nearest decent shop to shop in. So at the moment you have to pay for your shopping bags, which I think is absolutely atrocious. Fair enough, I can understand that the money goes to charity. So what I don't agree with is places like that can, fair enough, I have quite a fair amount of them. But they're these bags, they're a bag for life. I have about 20 million of these because I keep forgetting my decent bags. One day you're going to put one can of coke in there too much and it's going to rip. Not ideal because if you're walking 15 minutes away from where you live, it's going to break because at the end of the day, it's only plastic, it can't help the world. So if that's like 10 pence, why not pay 30 pence, right? And I know all these do them because I have loads. I have about six of them and they are absolutely huge, right? My weekly shop will consist about two of these because it is really big. And I'll tell you what, the material of them is... Invest in them, mates. Come on, guys, invest in them. I think that's all the tips I have. If, if I can come up with any more, I will definitely write them down and I'll do a second part video before September, before everybody starts. But they are the main things I wish I'd done. I've spent way too much money on food. I've chucked so much food out that I haven't used. My freezer is full of bread. I am fine. And I hope that everybody else is fine at university as well. You shouldn't have to worry about money. Money is the one thing you shouldn't have to worry about when you're at university. Unfortunately, it is the main problem that people have at university because it's not something that everybody has. And unless you're like, in a town that's only got one university. Getting a job is so hard as well. So you really need to save up as much money as you can throughout the term. So when it comes around to it, you do not not have any money. And also freshers, don't go too hard because that's where all your money goes. All right guys, well, if you've like enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you give it a thumbs up, then I'll know if it's, it's helped you. Thing. Also give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or any other tips or questions about university life and stuff, leave them below. 
and I will catch you later with another video. Goodbye!